Here is how to embed audio comments into your students' papers using Windows Vista or Windows 7 and Office 2007. Let's start by trying the same basic approach that we used with Windows XP. We'll take the same document and we'll open it with the same program. But we'll do it with this different operating system of Windows Vista. So we see that as the document shows up on the screen, it looks exactly the same as it did when we opened it with the same program using Windows XP. But look what happens when we try to do the same thing we did then. We go to Insert, we move over to Object, which is labeled this time. We select Insert, Object, and we get a drop-down menu just as we did before. But notice that as we scroll down, we are not able to include an audio file because we don't get the option. That means that what we're going to have to do is create our own audio file and then insert that file using the Create File dialog. So hold that thought for a moment. We'll leave the document where it is. And now we will record audio. We're not going to do it with the Windows audio recorder. Instead, we're going to use a free audio recorder from Audacity. This is a program that you can download and use yourself. And if you already use a different audio recorder, that's fine. So I'm now turning to my system and I'm using a link that goes to this sound recorder called Audacity. And you see it opens up and let me show you briefly one important thing you need to know about using this or any other audio program. Remember that we have to create a file as small as possible. So within Audacity's preferences, we'll take a look and I'll show you that what you need to do is use the lowest sample rate. In other words, we want the low fidelity version of the file that we're going to create. And also, here with regard to the sample format, again, we're selecting the lowest possible figure. We're okay with those preferences, so now we're ready to begin recording. Here's the record button. I punch it. Now we're recording audio directly onto our hard drive using the Audacity software. I'm going to stop the recording and then show you how to save it and then embed it in our final document. I've stopped the recording. Now I need to export this file in the smallest format available, which here is MP3. So I skip down to export as MP3 and I'm given a dialog that gives me the option to name the file. And notice I'm saving it in the same directory that the paper was in. And I'm going to use the same basic name, except I'm going to save it as an MP3 file. I click Save. It tells me I'm replacing an earlier version. I'm aware of that. This window gives me a chance to put identification tags within the file. That's not necessary for our purposes and we see that the file has been exported. So we're done with Audacity. We can close it. Now we don't need to save the changes because we already exported them. Now let's go back to our document. Remember where we were before? We wanted to put the audio file, but we didn't have an audio file to insert and we weren't allowed to record one directly. So now we go back to our Insert dialog Again, we select Object, but this time we go to Create from File option. We have to browse to find the file, looking in the same directory where our student's paper is. We go down to that directory, and we see here's our audio file. So I select the file, I select Insert, and I select, again, Display as Icon. But notice, the icon that we're given is a package icon as opposed to the audio speaker symbol that we got when we were using this same software 
on the Windows XP operating system rather than Vista or Windows 7. We're satisfied with the selection and notice that we get this package icon where we want our file to play from. So we're done with our Word file at this point. We save it. Now we're ready to send it to the student. I'll close the file and now let's go back to the directory and we'll reopen it from the perspective that the student will have. So now our student reopens the file that we've sent. Notice that the package is there. We can either right click on the package and then open it here by saying activate contents but instead we'll do the same thing that we did before which is double click on it. Now we're recording audio directly onto our hard drive using the Audacity software. I'm going to stop the recording and then show you how to save it and then embed it in our final document. So we see that here what happened was the default audio player opened and played our mp3 document and that would be fine in any system. So the result that we get is the same as the result that we had when we were using Windows XP but the way to get there really is quite different. We don't need to save the changes we're done with that document and that wraps up a consideration of how to include an audio critique in your students' papers using Windows Vista or Windows 7.